The Rise and Fall of the Isley Brothers The Isley Brothers are an iconic vocal group that has been a mainstay in the music industry for over six decades. The group was founded in the 1950s by brothers O'Kelly, Rudolph, and Ronald Isley, and they are known for their soulful R&B sound, infectious melodies, and their ability to blend different genres of music to create a sound that is uniquely their own. Sadly, over the years, the Isley Brothers have lost many of their original members to illness and other causes. We will take a look back at the history of the Isley Brothers, their contributions to music, and the members who have passed away. The Isley Brothers' journey began in the 1950s when the three brothers formed a vocal trio. They started out singing gospel music in their hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio, before transitioning to secular music. In 1957, they recorded their first single, The Cow Jumped Over the Moon, which was a commercial failure. However, they quickly bounced back and released their second single, Shout, which became a massive hit and helped launch their career. Throughout the 1960s, the Isley Brothers continued to produce hit after hit, including, Twist and Shout, This Old Heart of Mine, Is Weak For You, and, It's Your Thing. Their music was a blend of R&B, soul, rock, and even a little bit of funk, and it was beloved by audiences of all ages. The Isley Brothers were known for their dynamic live performances, and they toured extensively throughout the decade. As the 1970s rolled around, the Isley Brothers continued to evolve their sound. They experimented with new instruments and sounds, and they continued to release hit after hit. Some of their most popular songs from this era include, That Lady, Fight the Power, and, Harvest for the World. The Isley Brothers also collaborated with other artists, including Jimi Hendrix, who played guitar on their song, Wild and Woodstock. Unfortunately, the Isley Brothers began to experience tragedy in the 1980s. In 1984, O'Kelly Isley passed away due to a heart attack. He was just 48 years old. O'Kelly was the oldest of the three brothers, and he was known for his smooth vocals and his ability to harmonize with his brothers. His death was a massive loss for the Isley brothers and for the music industry as a whole. The group disbanded eventually in late 70s and a spin of the group was formed called Isley Jasper Isley. Isley Jasper Isley was an American R&B and funk band formed in 1984 by brothers Ernie Isley and Marvin Isley, along with their brother-in-law Chris Jasper. The group was formed following the split of the iconic Isley Brothers Band, in which Ernie, Marvin, and Chris had been long-standing members. The band's debut album, Broadway's Closer to Sunset Boulevard, was released in 1984 and was a commercial success, reaching the top 40 on the Billboard 200 chart. The album's lead single, Caravan of Love, became a hit in both the US and the UK, reaching the top 10 in both countries. Caravan of Love was a departure from the Isley Brothers' traditional sound, featuring a gospel-inspired a cappella arrangement. The song's success helped establish Isley Jasper Isley as a unique and innovative force in R&B music. The band followed up their debut album with, Different Drummer, in 1985, which also achieved commercial success. The album's lead single, Insatiable Woman, reached the top 20 on the R&B charts. Despite their initial success, Isley Jasper Isley disbanded in 1987 after only three years together. Ernie Isley and Chris Jasper went on to pursue solo careers, while Marvin Isley retired from music due to health issues. However, tragedy struck again in 2010 when Marvin Isley, the youngest of the three brothers, passed away. Marvin had suffered from diabetes for many years, and his health had been declining for some time. He was 56 years old at the time of his death. Marvin was known for his bass guitar playing, and he was a crucial part of the Isley brothers' sound. His passing was another devastating blow for the group and for their fans. Rudolph Isley took a break from music in 1989 and got involved in his philanthropic work. He has supported various causes, including education, healthcare, and community development. In 2002, he and his wife, Elaine, founded the Isley Brothers Foundation to provide scholarships and other resources to young people in need. However, Ronald and Ernie Isley continued to soldier on, and they continued to perform and record music. Today, only Ronald and Ernie Isley remain as members of the Isley Brothers. The two brothers are in their 80s now, but they continue to perform and tour, and they remain beloved by fans all over the world. Their music has influenced countless artists over the years, and their legacy will undoubtedly continue for generations to come. In conclusion, the Isley Brothers are an iconic vocal group that has made an indelible mark on the music industry.